classic American story, millions of people suffer from it every day. It weighs us down, makes you feel out of control, and ultimately weakens you. It's stress, anxiety, and it's even depression for some people. Sadly, suicide. It's all too often unspoken about. It's just a burden, this monkey on our back. It's credit card debt. It's sold to us from like big banks and locks us into these contracts with like ridiculous interest rates, often buying things we don't even need. See, back in 2007, I was able to really focus and get rid of all my credit card debt. And as an American, that's just like truly amazing. See, astoundingly, Americans carry over 887 billion in credit card debt, according to LendingTree, I looked it up. And the average American has like somewhere between $7,800 and $5,400 per adult with the number one state in the country being New Jersey, where I was raised, but now I live in California, which is the number 14 in the country for credit card debt. Remember, I was able to wipe out my debt back in 2007, but then there was these three big life events that happened. One, I was laid off from my job and travel, San Francisco, during that 2008, 2009 recession. Two, then I decided to go back to school. I was having a child for my MBA in sustainable business, attending the Presidio Graduate School. It was full-time, two years, really intensive program. And then three, I had my first child, the first weekend of grad school, and I needed the max amount of my loans, and I needed to use credit cards for food, gas, expenses to get by because living in the East Bay wasn't cheap. So in a few years, my 2015, my credit card debt had ballooned up to $45,000. It was spread over about five to six different cards with varying interest rates. I just thought enough was enough, all right? With my new company, Breakhouse Media, doing marketing and media, I was able to get back on top of it financially. And then I decided to enter a debt consolidation program to close all my card accounts, which forced me to only use my debit cards, save money, make monthly payments over the next five to seven years to finally complete it. Then a friend told me about Hebrew Free Loans up in San Francisco. I couldn't quite believe that it was possible that the power of this community can help interest-free. So this was back in 2019. I drive up to San Francisco. I meet with the team. They're wonderful. They educate me on the whole process. And within about a month, we had negotiated over $20,000 in credit card debt to be paid back in about four years. Based on my ability to make those monthly payments, it was about 500 to 700 per month. It was simple. I mean, they just made my one payment per month. It was auto debited from my bank account and bit by bit, I got it all done. So today I'm proud, I'm humbled and dare I say I'm super excited to be 100% credit card debt free again as of October of this year. I only use my debit cards. I spend money that I have in checking or savings and I'm learning how to budget and live within my resources sustainably. So now I can focus my monthly resources on expenses, travel, education for my two kids, investments, and maybe someday own my own property. I may even do another loan with HFL now that this one is fully completed. So take it from me. If you need real financial support for debt, a new business, I don't know, moving, education, or other needs, please reach out to the team and speak with them. Thanks for listening to my story. I know it's challenging. And remember, it is possible to live credit card debt-free in America. Take care, be well, spend wisely.